Hello there, this is Eric from Finley Truck and RV, and I'll be doing a video walkthrough on 3903P, the 2015 Road Tarek Versatile. Uh, coming around here to the passenger side. Uh, we'll start out right here at the entry door on the passenger side. On your entry door right here, uh, you do have your power locks and power windows over here. Um, seats, you have like a lumbar support and the actual seat itself. Um, also, just inside the entry door on the very top of the ceiling up here, you got your switch for your power awning out here on the outside. So it's just in or out on your power awning. Uh, once the power awning does get all the way out too, um, there are arms that's tucked inside of here. And I'll just run this out a little ways here, but you have these arms that's tucked inside the railing here. These arms will slide out to the side and pivot down to the ground. Uh, you could actually extend them to touch the ground, or you could actually clip them to the little pockets on the doors, like right here, uh, to support the actual awning itself. Or you could just let it hang out like that, but it does hang a little low when it's out. So there are arms on, side, on the inside of that. Run this back in here. Okay. Uh, next door will be entry into the back camper half the, of the coach. Um, and then the other half door opens also. Um, you do have cup holders and locks and screen windows and stuff on the side and curtains that will close to give you privacy inside of the camper. Uh, same thing with this window over here. It has a little curtain that will close to give you privacy in here. Uh, there is storage underneath the seat bottoms on both of the seats here. You have a outdoor patio light. There's a switch that I'll show you on the interior part of this video, but you have an outdoor patio light. And then obviously the other hook for the awning arm. Coming around to the back half back here, you have a reverse camera back here to the left of the license plate. Um, also down here at the very bottom, you have an access panel that you can twist the tabs and gain access to the propane tank. Now there's a gauge over on the left side the yellow cap is where you actually fill the propane, and the knob there is to shut the propane off or on. Um, up top there on the rooftop, you got a built-in air conditioner, and then on the white thing on the very top is gonna be the antenna for air television. Coming around to the side over here, you have your main field door for the vehicle itself. And then directly below the field door down there, the small pipe there is going to be the exhaust pipe for the uh, generator. The generator is housed underneath of the vehicle itself. Um, coming over here to the side, you have a panel like this. Uh, this is going to be access to the back of the refrigerator, mainly for the service end if there's ever an issue. Uh, you could pop that cover off and look at modules instead of having to remove the whole refrigerator. These panels will tip up and over here you have um, a little latch that will actually lock into place. Um, you have an outdoor shower with hot and cold water and there is a brand new hose inside of the camper that you could screw onto this port here. Uh, there's a little valve directly up here and then there's a your city water inlet. If you have a garden hose hooked to your city water inlet here, you could actually open this valve the opposite of where it is now. And when it's turned in line, it will actually feed water to the fresh water tank of the vehicle and you could power fill your fresh water tank on the vehicle. Um, there is a drain on the bottom of the fresh water tank and then whenever you're just in normal use, it's gonna be straight up and down like this on that valve though. Uh, that will supply water to all your fixtures and stuff. Next compartment here is gonna be short cord storage and your cord, as you can see, I got plugged into the wall over there, um, but there's a spot where you can run the cord out of the side of the compartment here and then be able to keep your compartment door closed. Moving down to the side over here, um, and again, there's another latch over here. You have your uh, black and gray waste tank drains, um, and then inside of here is going to be your hose for your macerator. This system has a macerator, so when you go to dump a tank, you will actually pull the valve, which you normally always do the black first. You'll pull the valve, um, then you'll take this, or I should say, we'll start out here. You'll take this hose, run the hose to wherever you're draining it, and you're going to open the valve on the actual hose itself. Now after you have the hose opened, you could come over here and pull whichever valve you want to pull, whether it be black or gray, but typically you do the black first and then the gray to rinse the hose out. Once you have the black valve pulled, 
you're going to open your door here and just inside the door you're going to have a red button there that red button powers the macerator you do have to hold the button down to run the macerator um, once the black tank is all drained out you can close your black valve by pushing it back in then pull your gray valve and then the same thing push your red button until the gray side's emptied once the gray side's emptied you'll shut your valve off on your actual hose coil your hose back up and stick in the compartment and close all your valves directly above that compartment is going to be your furnace intake and exhaust anytime the furnace is running this will be blowing out hot air and then to the right of that is going to be your water heater this is a six gallon strictly propane water heater it is controlled from the uh, inside which i'll show you the switch for that and at the very bottom down there there's a drain plug in the water heater that is also a water heater anode rod um, i did put a brand new rod inside of it so there's no rods to replace or anything like that. That'll last for some time, at least a season probably for you. Um, over to the entry door of the driver's side, you have your power locks, power windows, and then power mirrors up here. Um, again, like I say, the red button on the side here is going to be for your macerator pump. And then again, you have lumbar support. Um, just inside the uh, entry door here too, you have this plug that you could remove. And this way you could actually, the, the fresh water tank for the vehicle is at the bottom of this pillar here. Um, so you could actually gravity fill your fresh water tank, or if you want to sanitize your fresh water tank, you could pour bleach or drop tablets down inside of that. Um, the drain for the fresh water tank, I'll get down below here and show you. Um, there's actually a drain just on the bottom of the tank. You'll open that valve and it'll drain the water out of the tank itself. And then coming around, we're back to the front of the vehicle. Uh, the engine vehicle, or the, the engine of the vehicle has been serviced, oil's been changed, fluids have been topped off, uh, steering components have been greased, and generator has also been serviced also. I'll pick up on part two on the interior of this uh, vehicle. Thank you.